Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Ken Chaos. I'm about with more Hogwarts Legacy, guys. In the last episode, we learned the Pulso for is it Professor Sharp? Uh, we went to the Beast class and we got the, some hell helmet for some wee goblin guy, woman, whatever. Uh, what the hell are we doing now? What's this? The caretaker's lunar lament. And this is us learning Lohamora, the unlocking spell. May as well get a couple of them. Right, let's go. Hello, Hamora. Yourself, bud. I probably should fast travel, but I always end up in the wrong bloody place. Come on, keep going, y'all. No idea what the hell that was. There's a chest here, can I get in here? Nope, that's that thing again. Again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not! Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. If you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Oh, odd little contraption. <coughs> it seems the statue <coughs> vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? Yes. Rebellion. Terrifying creature that can see the future. Passageway. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigodes. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jack and apes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. 
Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Ogsmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh. I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> And I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. <coughs> Fine, Dabby Doozy, right? X, X, square, triangle. Circle X. Right. Right, I need to switch this up a bit. Where the hell did Aloha Mora go? Right, I just thought it. Right, just does it. So. Wrong button. Go back. I need the disillusionment spell. Put it there, not put Expelliarmus there. Aloha Mora. What the hell have I done here? We have got. Well done! You're in! Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted area of the castle, after all. Oh. That shows peeps. I think I've went the wrong bloody way. Further up. Oh, 
Is that so? Uh, we're raising a generation of coddled cape flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between Arcanite and Arcanite. I'll go past them. Revenue. Is there anything else? Don't think so. Yes, there is. This must be the prefect's bathroom. Oh shit, no one of these again. Bunch them here. One of those goblins comes near me. I'll hand him his hat. Or hell, I suppose. Anyway, I'm not afraid of a goblin rebellion. My march needs to the Hecate's class is superb. I don't think that's what that class is for. She's right. Why don't you leave goblins alone? Maybe where the hell are you go? Up again. Revelio. Shut up, you! You're gonna get the call. Not at the moment, no. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, though. Well. Not at the moment, no. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, though. He's coming back, he's coming back. Go, 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 go. I spot me, spot me, spot me. Run, 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 run. They're not coming up here, no. Revelio. Right, he's stuck. Go, 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 go. Revelio. Where the hell did he go? Did 
Did he just disappear? Now he's going down and down and down. Where's he going? And I'm gone. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, good. You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. If we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the boggart in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Certainly shall. Almost level 15. Right, what do we have? Do I have any talents? One. Level 16. I like the dark arts. It's quite cool. Oh, that's a nice one, I like that. Right, it's an upgrade to Confringo. That seek enemy targets even better. Quests. Cast the pulso. So what the hell? Cast the pulso on the levitated enemy. Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Alright, no more. What's this? Why is it locked?
Level 15, that's why. <coughs> right, levitate them and depulse them, it said. I like Expelliarmus though. Right. Take it some assignments we're doing on this one, guys. Can I fast travel the hell out of here? Yes, I can. Just need to find an enemy now. the enemies. Can't go that way. Didn't ah I was gonna say that. It said something about popping balloons, didn't it? Descend. I'm able to land. I must be able to land, yes. Because now I can go. Potato. No, wrong one. Confringo. So, how the hell did I pop the balloons then? Zart, somebody else zart. So how the hell did Whoa. Right, that don't work. Must I fly through them? Yes, I Pow. I have to fly through them, that's the problem. That's the other one. Might as well do some of this shit in this episode, guys, try and cut it all out. Oh, what the hell was that? Pop. And the next one. Any more balloons, no? Two seconds, guys, it definitely said over the Quidditch purchase, didn't it? Oh, there's one more. So where the hell is it? There it's there. Is that the other place I need to do down here? Could be. There's an enemy over here as well, guys, I spot up. Yep, just there. These are beasts. Yes. Potato. 
Like Spellium is actually what? To be serious guys, just to check these now. So that wasn't even hogs meat. So that one's done. I find the Hogsmeade Station. Where the hell's Hogsmeade Station? I'm nowhere near Hogsmeade. I don't know if I'll connect. All right, well, just wait a minute. I'll show you exactly what I'm going to do. I ain't doing that shit. Hogsmeade map. And then I'll run it and start popping balloons. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Right, can't fly in here. So I'll head out. How the hell do I get out? This way. I hope. Where the hell is it out? Leech juice. Yuck. Is that the place I'm looking for? South Hogwarts region. That's got to be the station. One more somewhere. Where the hell are you? I don't see the other balloon. That can't be that. No, that's definitely not. There it's there to be sneaky more for. Brilliant. Right, it's not as now sorted. Yes, that's that one now done, guys. Some of these actually have rewards. I did not realize that at all. May as well start this shit. Map. Why is it not showing me? This game confuses me sometimes. Maybe I shall wait. Just 
install it. Is that her there? Yes, it is. That's where I want to go. How did you get on with those tasks? Madam Kagawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. Pay attention to your wand work. Holy smokes. Well done. I'd recommend that you practice your new spell here in my office before taking it out. We'll go again. Right, now these have all opened up. What's this one? In the shadow of the estate. I think we might just finish off with this one here, guys. Let's go meet Sebastian. Holy shit, that's a long way. Oh. Right, let's be off. go up and over here I wonder. Nope, need to go around. So there or something. The Feld Croft region. This looks like a bandit camps or something, doesn't it? Look, that's like bandits or something. Right? I don't know about you guys, but straddling my broom like that, my crotch would be in pieces. Oh, 
Anyway, over here. You made it. We Enjoying the view. Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what <coughs> happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never. I can never accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please. Okay. I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Oh, yeah. him. Robes for the visit he'd hoped for. That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. He thinks he can help Anne, but nothing can be done for her. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalists' way. I understand what you're saying, sir. Good. I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children, especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. <coughs> Sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I, I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <sighs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh dear, Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother... ...and me... ...in line. I do miss Hogwarts. But I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home... 
It's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I Very wish you welcome. well. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. Look at his robes all screwed up. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance of what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I'll admit, I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's mm -hmm. always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow. Always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. Score them, brother. <clears throat> All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. Wait two seconds, then. Shit's a bit to get heavy, then heavy it shall get. They've been digging for something. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Only good wizard is a dead wizard in my book. Ringo! No! Ringo! Kadush. Come on, there's one more. I've seen you. There you go. Wait. Who's there? I need to do the pulse so once no, once the levitator, I need the pulse. Right. That was a double team from Fringo. You've made your last mistake. Really? Sure about that. Regret coming here. Let me open the portal. Nice try. Such a power. Don't you back. Who do you think you are? I'm a goblin, not a toy. Who's that is? Let me 
Boing, boing, boing. I love that. There's one more somewhere. He's hiding somewhere. Oh, we're getting glitches. Oh, we're getting glitches. Holy shit, that frame rate is drop. Yeah. I confess. That was a bit more than I bargained for. I tried to warn you. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The Loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Whose home was this? A bit abandoned long since I lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. May as well rob the most we're at it. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. I was just up there, Seb. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. There's something there, but how the hell did I get by it? Oh, wait, a new repair room, maybe? No. See, it's over there, we need to get. Yeah. 
Did I do that through that wall? So he's standing here, so it's in here somewhere. Right, so maybe it is that other one, deep pulse, so I need it. Right, wrong button. Nope. Oh, wait, now there's that one that disappears. What? Poof, that one. Why is it no? Could be that one then. And pull it away. Nope. So what beckon spell would it be? Would it be that one? Repair. Expand the armors. Levioso. Confringo. Jeez, oh, which one is it? Surely it's not that one. It's this, I need to get by this. Yeah, which one, which fucking one is it? Well, I think it would be one of them. But none of them's working. Yeah, I thought it would have been this one. But it doesn't work. Ah, come on. And then pull it back, but nope. Guys, I'm going to end up needing to call this one if I can't figure this out. Repair. There's a way, but I can't figure it out, guys. This well looks familiar. Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Oh, I wasn't even supposed to be there. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you... I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the keepers. The Keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? 
I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the Vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. And now you've been witnessing memories left by Keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch Keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Right, guys, well, I'm going to call this one here because I'm running out of time and we'll carry this on the next episode. So, guys, this is your boy King Chaos. If you enjoyed this episode, like, subscribe, and hit the bell. I shall see you in the next one, guys. Bye.